how to create a sign up form using active campaign on your website. So if you have a website, one of the primary functions of that aside from showing people what you do and how you can help them is to make sure that you're collecting their email addresses, that they can contact you, that they can reach out and swap their email in exchange for something. So there were a number of different reasons why you might have a sign up form on your website, whether it's to you know, collect a product, whether it's to claim a prize, whether it's to submit an inquiry, whatever it might be. Now, um, I'm currently building a website here where people can list their online courses. So I need to have a sign up form on my site so that people can submit their course information. And I want that to then be automatically delivered to my email marketing system where A, they will be added to my email list, B, their information will be submitted and saved in their CRM, their customer record management, and also where it's going to trigger off an automation to notify my team to then make sure that that information is submitted to the website so that their course can be listed. So I'm going to show you just how it really simple and easy it is right now to actually create a submission form and connect it to your website so that all this stuff can then fire off and happen automatically. So first of all, log into your WordPress website and uh, make sure that you have uh, sort of got your button ready. Now, if you don't know how to get your button ready, I will just quickly show you how to do that now. So I'm using WordPress website. When you're in your main dashboard area and logged in, go to the page that you want to edit and um, you should have the option of a page builder. If you don't have that in your website, it does come free with most standard uh, WordPress websites, but you can just install a, word, a page builder plugin if you haven't got it already. But if I click on page builder, what this will do is then basically open the editing function of this particular page. So this means that uh, now I'm in the editing page builder. If I go to my basic modules or my advanced modules, you'll see here that I can add a call to action uh, depending on the level of uh, membership that you've got. If you've got a paid version or a free version, you should also have something called button, which will enable you to drag a button over. But this here is basically a call to action. So let's pretend and I want to add a call to action over here. I'll just show you for those who have never done this before. Drag call to action into whatever you spot you want that to be. And uh, that will quite literally enable you to say, you know, sign up here, whatever you want it to say. Click on button and the button will say, you know, uh, get it now, <laughs> whatever it might be. You can change the colors and so on. I'm just giving you the example here. Now you can see that there is a call to action here. So now what I wanna do is connect that button to the form that I need that person to fill in. So first of all, we have to go and create the form before we can connect it together. So open up your active campaign, click on forms and quite simply click on new form. Now, first we're gonna type in the name and this is for you. So I'm going to fill this uh, the name. Uh, then this is for you to know uh, what the form is called. Now, what do you want to happen when that form is filled in? So do you want to add them to a list? If so, what list do you want to add them to? Maybe you could create a new list, whatever it might be. Um, add an action, maybe you want them to be tagged. So um, can you come up with a tag, like a, it's almost like a label, a post-it note that you're sticking on them inside the system to know what action they've taken and what it is that they've done. So I'm gonna add one here. Okay, so when you've named your form and you've decided what actions you want to happen when that form is filled in, quite simply press create. And this is where it will take you now to the form builder. So in the form builder, it's a, a very simple drag and drop process. You can create custom fields um, or you can use fields that might already be inputted into your system from other forms. So the first thing we're gonna do is give the form a title. So we first click at the top and over on the right hand side of your screen, this is where you actually edit. So once you've added your title, then quite simply um, edit the description. So again, click on the description area and come over to the right hand side, which is where you can do the editing. Okay, when you put your description in, then you're gonna add in the fields that you want people to fill in. So um, do you want just full name or you can click on standard and this will be all the basic generic form entry fields that you could have. So basically grab them, drag and drop. Um, if I want last name, grab it, drag it and drop it. Um, you can decide whether you want these fields to be required or not. Now, so for me, I definitely want these fields to be required. Um, so you can just simply tick that box over on the right hand side. Um, it means that they can't submit the form unless they actually fill that area in. So you'll see here now, uh, this has got the active campaign branding on it. I'd like to take that off. So you can go to style. 
go down to the bottom and active campaign branding off, that will remove that. Now it depends on the plan that you're on as to whether or not you can remove that. If you're on the free plan, I don't think you can. Um, now you can also change the submit button. So uh, if I used to click on the submit button, I can change that to you know whatever word I want it to say. Uh, the button color can be changed as well. Let's say I want it to be more of a bluey color to fit the rest of the website. Easy as that. Um, so then just go through, maybe there's some other information you want. Now I would like people to have um, a special a special field because I want people to input a special code here. So I'm going to add a custom field. So I want this to be a text area that allows multiple lines. But you can see you can have drop down menus, selection boxes, long form, short form. Uh, pick the type of field of data that you want to collect and press next. Now this name is going to be the name that the uh, form filler inner is going to see. So in my case, I'm just gonna put the title of this in here. Once you have pressed save, then go to my fields and right at the very bottom will be the latest, uh, latest field that you filled in. So again, drag that, drop it where you want it to go and you'll see now that the, uh, the information I'm requesting is now showing up. And again, I'm gonna click on this and make sure that people fill that in, it is a required field. And then uh, quite simply, when I've finished filling in all the fields I want, so of course you can create any type of field that you want, then press integrate. And this will give you a couple of different options. I actually just wanna take the link. So click on link, and this is basically a URL. I could now go and share that URL with anyone, anywhere, um, and people will be able to now fill in that form. Um, so all I'm going to do now is go back to my website, and this is the call to action button that I want the, uh, people to be directed to the form when they click on. So click on that call to action, and where it says button, you will see that there is an option to add in a link. So delete anything that might be there already, paste in that link to that form and press save. And now what will happen is if I press done and publish changes, what will happen now is just when that loads, this is now the live site, is when someone clicks on that, it will now take them directly to that form that they can fill in and submit. So that is how you set up a form on your website to collect any type of information and then connect it to the button on your website. Hope that helps. If you'd like more tips like that, do feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, join the Facebook group Entrepreneur to Edupreneur, or go and take any of my online courses at sarahcord.com forward slash courses. If you like this video, please give it a like or share. Otherwise, good luck with your course creation and uh, cannot wait to connect with you further. See ya!